What is up, you sexy beasts? Guys, we did it. The, uh, the merch, it is live. You can jump on my website right now, vakey.co, and grab your merch. I know we're not quite at 10,000 subs yet, but uh, you know me, I like to be a little bit naughty. And uh, we're well on our way. We're gonna be there in no time. So the merch is live, and I just cannot wait to get it in your hands. I put so much time and effort into these videos, into this channel, and I absolutely love the journey. I love interacting with you guys, and I'm so grateful. But if I'm honest, sometimes I'm like, why am I doing this? Is it worth it? Uh, and it is, it absolutely is worth it. But if you get any value out of my videos and you've ever wanted to support me, this is the way to do it. Jump on the website and grab your merch. I really, really appreciate you guys. And I'm excited for the journey ahead. The next goal, the next stop, the next celebration, if you will, is gonna be 25,000. So uh, that's the next stop. And I reckon we'll get to 25,000 quicker than we got to 10,000. So let the journey continue. Onwards and upwards, I say Tribe. Today, I have a little power clean and power jerk complex. So uh, it's two power cleans followed by two power jerks, which is good because I prefer the split jerk and I often avoid the, uh, the power jerk. So that'll be good for me. And so I thought, why not do a clean and chat? You know, I do my cleans and my rest periods, we chat. And maybe this becomes a segment. Every time I have cleans, I get out of the studio, come out here and we'll do the chatting out here in the gym. I watched the uh, Hepner Bridges fight. Congratulations, Jacob. I must say, um, I was surprised. I legit thought that Bridges had it in the bag. It just looked like that extra reach that Hepner had just uh, kept Josh out of it. He couldn't quite get inside. It was definitely entertaining though. Good to see the boys go six rounds. Hepner looked all tense to start with, but I think that's just how he boxed because he still looked like that in the sixth round, but good on the boys. And uh, I reckon we'll probably see more of that stuff in the CrossFit space. Do you guys strap your thumbs? I always strap my thumbs, my thumbs, my thumbs, when I snatch and clean and jerk. Can't do it without it. Oh yeah, there's the hammies. One thing I love about this channel is the comment section and just your guys' thoughtful wisdom and responses. After my last video I made about Dave Castro shouting out Ricky Garat's comeback, there was a really good comment that made me think. And the comment was along the lines of, maybe Dave Castro is trying to be a good leader and set the example when it comes to inclusivity and getting rid of the drama, but actually just loving on the community. Maybe that's the reason, maybe he's not trying to stir up drama. And it made me think, maybe Dave is trying to be a good leader and show good values and show good, a good approach to accepting everyone and acknowledging that Ricky's done his time, he's kind of paid his dues and um, yeah, maybe Dave's just being a good dude. Who knows? I don't know, maybe there's some subscribers out there that are like me, just a forever optimist, you know, just naively going through the world and uh, thinking the best of people. But it got me thinking anyway, and it just made me appreciate the comment section. Again, you guys keep me in check and make me think, so I appreciate that. Today's topic is Dubai Fitness Championship, I think that's what it's called. They have released a list of the invited athletes, the 20 females and the 20 males they've invited to their comp for this year. Let's look at the ladies list here first. Now I haven't lined up this list with the top 20 finishers at the games this year, but here's the thing guys, the Dubai Fitness Champs is a independently run competition. Yes, it used to be a sanctional event to qualify for the games, but it now has zero connection with CrossFit. So it's very much, it could do whatever it wants. And there's no rules to say that competitions have to invite the top 20 finishers at the games. They can invite whoever they want. And I know the organizers of this competition and I know they're very loyal to people that have competed in the comps in the past. So you might see some names on these lists that maybe aren't in the top 20 from the CrossFit Games, but they may be athletes that have a history at the Dubai CrossFit Champs. And it seems like these guys are honoring that and inviting people back that have been a part of their event in the past. The obvious name missing from this list is Tia Claire Toomey. And I don't know whether that's intentional or whether they just know that Tia can't make it and therefore they haven't bothered inviting her. I'm not sure. And then again, you see the same thing on the men's side. We're missing the CrossFit Games champion, Justin Medeiros. Again, I don't know if this is intentional. Maybe they want to give other athletes the opportunity to shine and to win something. I definitely see a bunch of names on both of these lists that obviously have a history with this event. There's Elliot Simmons, there's Roman Krinikov, there's Willie Georges 
and then Ricky Garrard competed there uh, 2016. It was his first kind of comp on the big stage. So yeah, I've seen the event cop a lot of slack over the last 24 hours after releasing that list, um, you know, not including people that were actually in the top 20 of the games. But my feeling is they can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they feel is best for the event. If they want to invite people back that have a history at the event, or maybe just someone that's going to bring the eyes like Ricky, so be it. It's a business. They can do whatever they want. They've got no obligation to invite the top 20. Does it suck for people that did finish in the top 20 of the games and weren't invited? Sure, it must suck to have done the work and proven yourself at the CrossFit Games and to not get an invite to a pretty high profile event like this um, won't be nice. But luckily there are a bunch of events now in the off season that athletes can take part in. Um, this one unfortunately doesn't have a qualifying process, neither does Rogue. You are very much at the mercy of the event organizers sending out the invite. So what do you guys think? Do you think it should be the top 20 or do you think it's okay for these events to pick and choose who they want to invite, give some other athletes a chance um, to perhaps win an event, win some money? And do you think it's okay for them to invite someone just for the sake of bringing the eyes and actually uh, make a business move like I'm sure Ricky is. Yes, they're honoring the fact that he was part of their event in 2016, but I'm sure a little bit of the thought process would also be, you know, Ricky's uh, much anticipated story and they can be the first event to host him. So maybe it's a bit of a business move as well. I don't know. I actually reached out to the Dubai Fitness Champ organizers this morning to see if they want to jump on a call and have a chat about kind of the thinking behind the process and give us a bit more insight. So fingers crossed we can get those guys on the phone. Quick question for you. Do you, um, do you live that hook grip life? I hope you do. If you don't, just drop down for 100 burpees right now. Get yourself some thumb tape and use the hook grip. It's the only way. It's just the only way. But in all seriousness, you're limiting your Olympic lifts if you're not using your hook grip. I know it sucks. It hurts the thumbs. You feel weak for a few months. But once that thing gets strong, it's like a self-tightening system. You can just add. You just keep adding, you know. Just keep adding weight. Also, this shirt here, the large. But on the website, all the photos, I'm wearing an extra large. So it just depends how you like them. If you wanted like oversized, go one size up. But you can basically rock two sizes. I can rock the large or the extra large. I just want to show the striations today, you know? That's why I'm going for the tight, the tight option. And okay, last set, baby. Here we go. Oppa! Lightweight. Wee and then the last topic I wanted to quickly discuss is a Brazilian female athlete, CrossFit Games athlete, Larissa, who literally just a few, I think maybe 24 hours before the CrossFit Games started this year, um, got an email from CrossFit saying that she'd failed the drug test and that she got a four year ban. Larissa actually stuck around uh, at the games. She spectated, she actually met up with Eric Rosa and discussed some of the drug policies in the sport. She then went on to get her supplements tested and the results came back that sure enough, it was contaminated and that um, the substance was in her body by mistake, that she didn't take that knowingly. So CrossFit reduced her ban to, from four years to two years. The thing is, she missed out on the 2021 CrossFit Games and now she's gonna miss two more seasons. So essentially she's just missing three CrossFit Games um, for something that she didn't do. And I'm no expert when it comes to drug testing and what the fair thing is to do, even when an athlete finds himself accidentally taking something like this. Obviously CrossFit recognizes that she didn't do this on purpose, otherwise they wouldn't have reduced her sentence. But do you think they should just be taking it away altogether? I don't know, that's just my feeling. If an athlete can prove and show that it wasn't taken on purpose, that they didn't cheat on purpose. To me, it feels like the just thing would be to just remove the ban altogether, but maybe I'm missing something. What do you guys think? Is it still fair and just for her to have the two-year ban, or do you think it should be removed altogether? My tribe, thank you for hanging out with me today. Jump on the website, get your merch. The website is in US dollar, so just take that into account when you pick your items. And also at checkout, the default shipping will be to the US. So as soon as you put your country in there, it'll change the shipping. Um, so don't stress out and hurry up. You only have two and a half days left before pre-orders close. I want to get it all to the printers and out to you as fast as possible. That's why I'm keeping the window nice and tight. That is all for today. Stay sexy, keep roaring love, and I'll see you soon. Bye.